Good morning, class. Today we're going to be presenting our author, Louise Erdrich. Um, Louise Erdrich wasn't our first pick. At first, we wanted to go with a different author to start, but due to lack of material on her name is Megan Day. Due to like lack of the writings by her, we decided to look for an author that all of us could enjoy within our research. So we chose Erdrich. A few reasons why we decided to learn more about Louise Erdrich were because we loved how she looked at social issues and cultures and how to stop the black snake. Her involvement in Native American culture and society made us curious to learn more about why she writes about what she does. And one thing that really interested all of us was her compassion towards things that were not necessarily related to her. Um, she always, uh, we all appreciated her ability to give a voice to the people, animals, and tribes that didn't necessarily have one themselves. Everyone in our group respected her in this facet. Um, just something quick about, like a quick summary of her. She was born on July 7th, 1954 in Little Falls, Minnesota. She grew up there for most of her life, but then she decided to go to Dartmouth and get her associates in English. From there, she got her master's at Johns Hopkins. Um, hopefully throughout this presentation, you guys will learn a little bit more about Louise Erdrich, her writing style, and why we decided to use her. Erdrich writes mostly fiction stories, but ones that relate to her own personal life and her life growing up. She writes short stories, children's books, adult novels, and poems. Erdrich tends to write about topics that many either don't pay attention to or feel uncomfortable to talk about. She writes this way to get people to think about diversity, family life, and cultural life. She even brings her youngest daughter into some of her novels, like in the future home of the living God. In that novel, her daughter was depicted as the main character who was adopted and wants to figure out her family heritage and where she came from. Many of her short stories and novels tend to talk like this and revolve around her Native American heritage. She states, I usually can't recall whether it is something I heard, something I dreamed, read, or imagined on the spot. Louise Erdrich explores a vast majority of topics with both political, cultural, and social significance. As we read various short stories and novels by Louise, we discovered she focuses on the lives of Native Americans, specifically the Ojibwe tribe. We then found out Louise herself is part Ojibwe. She brings Ojibwe culture and way of life, emphasizing the importance of things such as family, animals, and culture into her writing. Doing this allows her to express a large part of herself into her writing, including her personal views of society, tradition, culture, and politics. The titles of many of her short stories, such as The Big Cat, Reptile Garden, How to Stop a Black Snake, and Wild Geese, shows how much importance she places on animals, a trait the Ojibwe tribe embodies, and often uses animals as a metaphor to represent a larger force. In her novel, Love Medicine, in the Birch Bark House, she focuses on the highs and lows of a Native American family living on an Ojibwe reservation, with specific details and events unique to each family member. Louise Erdrich herself is from a large family and has a large family of her own. This novel allows her to bring personal experiences and a large factor of her life into her work. Many of her short stories are centered around usual, everyday occurrences, such as gardening, cars, snoring, motherhood, life, death, mental health, and love. The inspiration for these random events comes from Louise's life pre-writer, where she worked odd jobs and had random experiences that she often incorporates into her stories. Her extensive education on the Ojibwe tribe and the many life experiences she has learned while working from places like psychiatric wards to prisons has made her a very cultured and diverse writer to many. Being interviewed on things like her presence at the Dakota Access Pipeline, to her new bookstore, to her life as a mother of seven. American literature by bringing an array of cultures we are not used to hearing and learning about. Louise tries to focus on the oppression of certain cultures. She writes about relatable occurrences that apply to everyone reading it. She brings personal experiences into her writing. She looks at family life, traditions, culture, and social issues. She writes a broad range of literature that applies to politics, environmental issues, family life dynamics, children books, and many more. She brings up things we tend to ignore as a society, like, for example, different ways of life. 